What's up everyone, welcome to Finance with Tony. I'm Tony and here we are sharing some ideas about the frugal lifestyle. I don't do those boring videos uh, about the compounding effect or long-term financial goals. Um, I, I show you my real life and uh, the infrastructure around me and hopefully you you'll 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 extract some um, some valuable uh, financial habits uh, or uh, uh, some opportunities I mean uh, if you if you uh, if you you'll find some analogies with uh, with an infrastructure uh, here uh, behind me and uh, you can use the same similar attitude uh, to to keep healthy and wealthy and uh, I wouldn't say it's uh, actually uh, the way to, to get rich it's rather the the way uh, to be a zillionaire uh, zero, zero, zero linear, so, uh, something like that. I mean, I I, I live um, I live in, in the black, uh, totally in the black, and uh, so I give you the scope what's going on uh, in my uh, uh, in my real life and. Uh, uh, I uh, I left my company uh, like 17 months ago, and I I'm able to to keep my um, lifestyle quite a comfortable lifestyle without any sources of income, and uh, so I I, I believe uh, the trick is my financial habits, and um, uh, so uh, let's. Uh, without further ado, let's dive right in. Uh, I, uh, right uh, behind me, you can see uh, the city center, uh, the, the central part of Novosibirsk city. Novosibirsk has a population of 1.6 uh, million people. Uh, it's, uh, it's the mountain pot of cultures. People in Siberia speak. Um, 40 different languages and 10 of them are official and uh, uh, this evening uh, I'll show you the vibe and uh, also it goes without saying that uh, it's just uh, um, it's just uh, 10 minutes on foot from my from my apartment I, I paid off my mortgage uh, and there is a little bit Russian rock on the background uh, so the, the guy with, guitar, with the guitar uh, so um, Overall, I, I believe uh, on top of that, uh, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll give you the scoop what's going on here in Siberia, in the capital of Sib uh, Siberia, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll spread your knowledge uh, about this part of the world, uh, Siberia covers roughly the ten, uh, one tenth of the world's land mass. I mean, basically, it's ten, uh, roughly ten percent of the world's land mass, and we, uh, Siberia has seven time zones. And uh, so, there is electric scooters. A lot of electro scooters 
and also people just chilling around here's a parking uh, I wouldn't uh, uh, behind me you can see in front of us you can see uh, the opera theater uh, and uh, feel free to check out my previous videos about uh, an opera theater and also about um, about uh, an architect uh, uh, Krechkov uh, architect I'm I made recently the videos about the local architect Krechkov uh, that be uh, who belongs to to the uh, to the first part of 20th century and this red building behind me uh, like uh, uh, nothing special, I would say, right? But it was actually special for uh, first part of the 20th century, and this uh, this building is historical building, uh, and uh, it's uh, it belongs to the Central Bank of Russia, Central Bank of Russia, and uh, and it was, of course, it goes without saying, it's the part of uh, Soviet inheritance. Uh, the part of Soviet infrastructure and uh, actually uh, uh, this parking behind me uh, you can you easily use uh, uh, I'm not really sure if there is a yeah I probably if you've seen one if seen them all I mean this machine to wait it says that uh, it cost uh, it costs one dollar one dollar twenty cents um, uh, 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 an hour uh, so and uh, uh, you can use also Apple pay Google pay to pay for this I mean uh, you can download some applications here's a history of uh, historical places uh, this exposition of historical places here in Osberg city and uh, so some information for, for tourists the vast majority, uh, majority of tourists coming from China but I'm not, not fully sure about this time uh, I mean we uh, recently we had and another upstick uh, of uh, COVID-19 so uh, that's why I guess it's kind of problem for, for tourism and here is a typical uh, musical instrument I mean that could, be, could, could probably associate with, with Russia or with Russian culture but the truth is that time has changed, I guess uh, it's just uh, really uh, peanuts uh, people who play on, uh, on traditional instruments and the, uh, as an evidence you can, you can see this, uh, this band Guitar, drums, uh, and a violin. Uh, with the violin, they are playing. Here's a, a little vibe about Nostalgic City, about the evening, and there are a lot of people on electric scooters because uh, actually it's sharing. Uh, if you are my friend, you are already know that there. Are There are parking spots for uh, electric scooter sharings uh, everywhere, and so, local, local.
looks like this. Looking like this. Looks like this. Uh, and uh, feel free to check out prices uh, in the comments section below this video. So and also. Uh, feel free to check out my previous videos about this infrastructure, or all of this infrastructure. You, you can find uh, um, more, more, more details in my previous videos uh, uh, with observation of this infrastructure. So here the, behind me is a building uh, with restaurants and there are a lot of them here, uh, at least few of them here. <laughs> I've not a lot, uh, actually, uh, at least a few of them here. All of them kind of spacious and uh, a lot of places. Uh, and one of them called Pircini, like paprika, you know, uh, Pircini um, is a typical Italian cuisine uh, that you can uh, taste uh, everywhere, uh, everywhere. In, in Siberia, uh, Italian cuisine, Japanese cuisine, probably the the most common part of uh, the, the cuisine, uh, uh, yeah, like Ukrainian or uh, European cuisine, like uh, uh, East U East U European cuisine. Uh, so uh, there are uh, the dining. Uh, area, uh, sorry, uh, out outdoor dining, and uh, so uh, those uh, those uh, street performance uh, performers have probably uh, uh, playing uh, started again. So. Uh, there are also outdoor dining. So. 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 Uh, actually, I want to show you the main part of uh, our uh, the. The main point of interest for today's video uh, with something new, and um, it would be actually the uh, uh, the Philharmonic, but uh, uh, we'll just reach this and uh, the main observation will be in the next video. Originally, this building behind me used to, used to belong to the New York Pizza. This building behind me, prime, cost, prime, prime time, prime time, uh, used to belong to, to the New York, New York Pizza. New York Pizza is the local chain of pizzerias that was founded uh, by American from Massachusetts. I'm not pretty sure. I, uh, I, uh, we, we, I, I just heard about him. Uh, we, 
right, uh, uh, and uh, it was founded in the late ni 1990s or uh, in 2000, something like that. So, and here's the uh, here's the square behind us, Pervomaisky Square, uh, and and there is here is here is the sculptures, little sculptures of um, of native Siberian. You know, if you if you say native Siberian, it means like Native American. I, I, <laughs> Hopefully, it's it's, uh, it's obvious. Uh, so Native Siberian uh, is like Native American, and uh, I, I actually historically. Uh, historically, the Russian colonization of Nor Northern California in the late of 18th century, the first part of 19th century, um, was uh, uh, was running from Siberia, uh, and uh, it was the Russian it was Russian Empire. But uh, originally, this company, uh, Russian American company, was founded in in uh, Irkutsk city near Baikal Lake. Baikal Lake is the largest place, uh, li largest lake in the world with uh, with the fresh water. So, and here, here, here it is. Uh, this building in front of us. Oh, we get some troubles with traffic. With traffic, but I, I'm gonna to to, I'm gonna introduce you. This building, it was uh, built. Uh, it was founded uh, and built. It was built uh, back to the 1925. 1925, uh, early days of uh, Soviet Empire. Uh, I mean, uh, early days of uh, of the era of communists. Um, and uh, originally, it called the Lenin House. Uh, it was. The Lenin House. Uh, Lenin is the guy who, uh, who pretty much uh, uh, initiated uh, this huge eccentric experiment in the in, in, in Europe, in, in the middle of Europe, in, in Europe, and also uh, in here in North Asia. Uh, that actually historically also uh, the Euro culturally uh, this Siberia belongs to European uh, culturally it's Europe and uh, cult culturally it was Europe and of course uh, that's why um, uh, Lenin House here <laughs> uh, was was he was built here also as well and. And this time around, it's uh, it's uh, Philharmonic, uh, it's uh, Philharmonic uh, Chamber uh, Chamber Theater, something like that. Uh, so I'll do the video about this building uh, and square behind them uh, uh, in, uh, in 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 the next few minutes, and uh, it will be the next video. So. Stay tuned, guys. Uh, thanks for coming along. Thanks for your support. Thanks for, for your attention. And please uh, uh, press thumb up. And uh, please remember to subscribe with notifications. And it's the only way to give me uh, the feedback. The, I, uh, I started studying English when I turned 33. And I, I know there is a lot of. Uh, Trouble, uh, troubles with mistake and uh, with, with grammar. Uh, so hopefully my uh, the quality of content will uh, will overweight uh, my speaking skills. So uh, th thanks again. Thanks for coming along. And please remember to subscribe with notifications. Have an awesome day.